The untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is a landmark day in the sport of boxing. Save the date because June 19th, it, it, it's not just going to be T. Fimo Lopez's homecoming back home to South Florida at Marlins Park. It won't just be the first ever uh, fight at Marlins Park. It won't just be a concert featuring the likes of Meek Mill and Lunai and all those people. But June 19th, Triller, Triller Fight Club probably presents and announces that we will see the return of the GOAT when it comes to commentating, Jim Lampley. Jim Lampley has signed a deal with Triller and he starts his play-by-play -play commentating role June 19th for the TFM Lopez, George Cambosos fight. Now, before we get into Jim's comments, let's, let, let's just give our initial thoughts here. This is absolutely great news for the sport of boxing. And it shows that Triller and Triller Fight Club and Peter Kahn and all parties involved that they're very serious about uh, making Triller uh, one of the top, if not the top, boxing platform out there by getting a guy like Jim Lampley. Because whether you love Jim Lampley or you hate Jim Lampley, you cannot deny that Jim Lampley is great at his job. Jim Lampley, you know, he was criticized a lot back in the day um, during his tenure at HBO for his biased commentary. And did he have biased commentary? Absolutely, but guess what? Most commentators have bias. Um, what we can't deny about Jim Lampley is that uh, he had he was very passionate about what he loved doing. We can't, we can't argue that. We can't argue that his voice is one of the smoothest and one of the most iconic in the game. He's a living legend of the sport. So it's great to have Jim Lampley back. It's great to, to see him um, doing commentating again. And he's very excited about it. Here's what Jim Lampley himself had to say about joining Triller in conjunction with Triller Fight Club, stating, I quote, I am impressed that Triller Fight Club is aggressively seeking to put together the best telecast possible. And that is the mentality that makes Triller the best po possible platform for my return to ringside. This first telecast features T. Fimo Lopez, co the conqueror of the great Vasily Lomachenko, and an exciting new talent who has already made a historic mark on the sport. That says it all for me. Um, Triller CEO, Ryan Kavanaugh, when I'm like saying, I quote, it is an honor and a privilege to welcome the preeminent voice in boxing, Jim Lampley, the Triller Fight Club. We will blend all the best elements of music, entertainment, and sports, and there is no one better to help lead our broadcast for fans of all ages than Jim Lampley. So there you have it, man. And I'm excited. And I, 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 I've, been, I've been calling for Jim Lampley's, Jim Lampley's return to boxing because let's just be real. These boxing commentating teams, since he left, that, that, that have been in our face these days, it, it, you know, they really have left a lot to be desired. Specifically, the, the, specifically, the, specifically, sounded out BT, specifically the DAZN commentated team featuring Chris Mannix and Sergio Mora. I mean, oh my God. It's a sight for sore ears uh, listening to those two do commentary at times, you know, so they have, those two have really made me appreciate the greatness of Jim Lampley. Um, Showtime, you know, still solid, but pretty hit or miss. I think I think their commentating team has been uh, pretty bad since the departure of Pauli Malignaggi. It hasn't been quite the same, uh, in my opinion. And then top rank, you know, they got Tim Bradley, Andre Ward. They're probably the best of the bunch. So we're a very well-rounded, very well-put-together group, and they do a good job. And But while they do a good job, it's just, it's not Jim Lampley. It's not, you know, HBO boxing. And I feel like... In a way, boxing gets back uh, some, some boxing gets back one of its wings by getting Jim Lilly back in the play-by-play -play booth, um, and you know, I'm very interested. I'm very inter interested to see if this is going to mean that Triller's commentating uh, team is going to be more professional. Because uh, as many of us know, you know, it was they were going nuts with the commentating last time. You know, um, Snoop Dogg was going crazy. They were cursing on TV. You know, I thought it was funny. I thought I thought it made for great entertainment, but in some ways. Um, it did take away from the fights, and there were some complaints about the commentating from people. I thought it was hilarious, and I, I, personally, I think if Jim Lentley goes there, I think they should just let Jim Lentley be do his thing and 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 show off that million dollar mouthpiece. But keep keep it keep it entertaining, you know, keep it entertaining, uh, you know. Um, we'll see, man. But I think I think, and this is only my only my opinion. I think with this signing, right, with this particular signing, with with um, Jim Lentley joining Triller, I think this marks the beginning. Um, of Triller being a true player in the sport of boxing. Um, you know, for the long haul, because because you don't hire a guy like Jim Lampley 
for a one-off deal. And you don't hire a guy like Jim Lampley if you're not serious about running a, a big-time platform, you know. Uh, Jim Lampley, I'm sure, could have signed with the zone. I'm sure he could have signed with somebody um, in the three years that he's been out of boxing. But uh, clearly, there, uh, clearly, there was something lacking from those other platforms that uh, Triller uh, had. So, you know, it's good to see him back in the sport. It's good to, it's good to see him back um, doing what, what he's best at and... You know, he's, 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 a, he's, a living, he's a living legend and a Hall of Famer. And I had the privilege to meet Jim Lampley and interview him back in 2017 at the Mandalay Bay. Um, and was, he was a cool guy, you know. So I think we're going to see Triller here for a long time. I think this will be the mark of Triller and Triller Fight Club um, making themselves a power player in boxing. You know, the original business business structure was that they said that they're going to only do these, uh, these one-off deals um, and sign fighters on a short-term basis. I think that's their... That's their short-term uh, business plan, but I don't think it's a long-term business plan. I think Triller will be a platform where they continue merging boxing with uh, uh, entertainment, and I feel like th they're going to be signing fighters and they're going to be a, a player in the sport. You know, because if I if there's anything that I do know about Peter Kahn, I'm, I've only known Peter for about a year and a half, but in the year and a half that I, I know I've known Peter and that I got a chance to know him from afar, and um, just get a gauge on his personality, who he is. I, Peter Kahn is someone that has the utmost drive to, to be the best at whatever he does. And I, I, I just, I, I could never foresee Triller not trying to be one of the preeminent power players in the sport of boxing. I, I, I could never see that. So I feel like you're going to see Triller sometime at the end of this year sign a fighter, you know, um, long term, you know. Ryan Garcia wouldn't be surprising if they signed him or someone like that. And maybe maybe they start working with Golden Boy or, or or some other promotional promoter promoter spiders, you know, you never know. But I think by by, by the end of the year, this, this, this is my prediction on the end of the video. My bold prediction by the end of the year is that Triller, Peter Khan, Triller Fight Club, all parties involved. I fight. They're gonna at, by the end of the year, you will see a big name fighter sign a long term deal with Triller. I'm talking about two or three fight deal with Triller. Take that take that to the bank. Cash checks on Sunday. It will happen. But that's the news. Jim Lampley making his. Long way to return to the play-by-play -play booth. So it's great to have Jim Lampley back. You know, uh, hearing Sergio Mora and Chris Mannix so frequently, it really made you miss a guy like Jim Lampley. So shout out to him. Good to have him back. June 19th, Miami, Florida, South Florida, stand up. Marlins Park, T from Lopez, George Cambosos. It'll also be the return of Jim Lampley to the booth. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Jim Lampley's return to the sport of boxing. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just giving Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.